Hello, and we're at Hollywood Studios today. Just have to check in. There is a quite a bit of a line. I don't think this is a check in line though. So let's see. All right, we're checked in. They're gonna send us a text message when we're ready. They said not to go too far, and uh, we'll be in soon. So, did you see what they did? So mm. this is basically Andy. He created this restaurant. Okay. And so the cardboard boxes, you see the tape holding yeah. it. You see the little putty holding the toothpicks up uh -huh. with the flags. Nice. And then they did like a drawing to kind of disguise the building in the back. So that's why it's, it looks like that. I'm like, cool. like Andy drew the whole thing. I like it. Yeah. If your last name is the service party back at the Yeehaw, yeah. you can follow me, my friends. Hi. How are you? Oh, wow. what do you know? Yes, we're ready. We're, 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 we're ready. <laughs> That's Okay, yes. so rest of it are going to be on your left hand side. Okay. And before we continue, do you want to ride in on the Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just point and shoot, honey. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> oh. I tried to turn a couple of times so that Mark could see me, but that was great. And look, already, they look like paper plates. <laughs> They're glass. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Oh my god, guys. There's so much to look at. We're right in front of Miss Bo Peep here. There's space in the sky. Little monkey holders, dice, little train. Very, very cool. And before we leave, we'll check out the other rooms as well. Wow. All right, so this is a, all you care to enjoy. So they're gonna start off with some salads. There's three different salads. Um, and it's a tomato, a Rex Romaine salad, kale salad, and a wheezy watermelon salad. I heard the watermelon was really good. And then the Roundup Chow, you can get, enjoy a platter of all the following housekeeping. Uh oh. Who's coming? Oh, that's Buzz. They might be having a yard sale. We don't want to get. We don't want to get. No price tags, right? No. No price tags. No price tags. We don't want to get taken. Oh. Oh. Five dollars. That's not bad. Oh. It was a. It was a lemonade stand. <laughs> Thank you. 
so we'll be doing the Evil Doctor smoke ribs, buttercup beef, beef brisket. There's a sausage and a boat. Barbecue chicken with style and our select Trixie plant-based trio. So if you are vegan or vegetarian, they do have plant-based options. Um, upon request, the salmon is also available. And then the size, this um, Mino potato salad, marriage spuds, close Claw. They call it the claw veggie slaw. Horse filled fried pickles, campfire roasted vegetables, slinky dog. There's like all the O's. Um, mac and cheese, buck and back beans, and cow poi corn on the con. Grilled street corn. I'm excited. And then the choice of my one mini pie in a jar per guest. So. We can choose a lemon cheesecake, a lemon and blueberry cheesecake, Billy's chocolate soup pie, and a goat's apple pie, Gruff's peach strawberry pie, and for the little riders, cupcake and a la forky, which is super cute. Gooey chocolate cake, graham cracker buttercream, and sugar cookie. Very cool. I'm so excited. And now let's look at the drinks. So. You can get the Party Source tags, garnished with gummy candy, frozen Coke or Minute Maid vanilla smoothie topped with mini marshmallows, or frosty blend of iced tea and citrus flavors. And then there's the margaritas, rum on the range, whisk and lemonade. They got some drafts and they got some cans. Perfect. Yes. Fabulous day. We saw Buzz, Woody, and Jesse. We have a lightning lane for the, the, the Woody ride. Okay. We're all Toy Story out today. Coasting for Disney, like no issue at all. Great. And we walked in with the rain, a light drizzle of rain. It was so refreshing. I mean, today's perfect so far. Where are you manufactured? Well, we actually just moved to Florida. So we were from up north in Rhode Island. Yeah. And now, folks, it's my pleasure to introduce the rockest, toughest, brighter in the West. Do the dino and get a big roar from the one you've all been waiting for. The one, the only, party. I'm behind you guys. Ah, party Sora. <laughs> 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 party, party, party. All the kids are getting up and dancing. <laughs> now the lights. Yeah, who turned off the lights? Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't get over the plates, guys. It's the plates, look. It's glass, but it looks like a paper plate. I kind of want one now. <laughs> so it looks good. That looks delicious. Yes, we did. We would like to add the salmon. Yes, perfect. perfect. Do you want, how many do you want two? Two is good. And then we're going to do the potato salad, okay. the married spuds, the fried pickles, and the mac and cheese. Sounds fabulous. Thank you. I heard these biscuits are bomb. Thebomb.com. <laughs> wow. They're buttery and cheesy. What's this sauce? It's a pepper jelly. Mm. It's so good it's confusing. Yeah? Is it sweet and spicy? Not spicy. It's not spicy? spicy in flavor. It's not spicy in heat. <laughs> it's 
is spicy in flavor, so it's like seasoned. I mean, it might be a, a very mild dip. I'll try. See? You have the same face. You know what it is? It's the sweet chili sauce that the Asian, the Asian sweet chili sauce, but it's been diluted a little bit. So it's not so spicy, but it has that sweet and sour taste to it. That's good. I don't know if I want the biscuit by itself or with this more. I don't. You kind of have to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's a good flavor. It just your taste buds don't know what to do with it. It's such a wild. If you don't put so much on, yeah. and like a bigger piece and take a bigger bite. The beginning bite will be with that, and then the ending bite will be plain. Hand here at the Rodeo. It's taste like mm -hmm. today. So how about it, Buckaroos? Let's give a nice big Andy's yard salute to our Green Army Patrol. This is good for a good hot bang. It's basically a slushy sweet tea. Thank you for your service. It is very sweet. It almost tastes like tamarind a little bit. Mm. Well, these biscuits, holy moly. So good. Try the tomato salad. I'm not big on raw tomatoes, so I'm just going to have a cucumber. It's good. It's fresh. Could you pass me the watermelon salad? Mm -hmm. It seasons like um like Italian dressing, so I think you really like it. I had a piece, pretty good. And then here's the watermelon. It's just watermelon. I'm gonna take the next piece with a mint. This is really good. You didn't want any of this? It blends here. Ooh. I didn't know mint with watermelon is so good. Holy shit. I mean, <laughs> oops. But holy moly, I wish there was more mint. You better leave that in there and bleep it out. Now, I, got, I just got a fresh bunch of mint, of mint at home. I think I know what I'm going to do with it. And then here's the apple uh, salad or pear salad with the green goddess dressing which I heard is really good it's very green <laughs> it is very earthy I believe those are apples, not pears. They're not sweet. They might be like the green apples, so they're a little sour, tart. But, yeah. I'm kind of shocked that they have so much selection between salads. Don't you think, kind of? Yeah. I like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. <clears throat> Let me try more cucumber. So Mark is saying he likes the tomato salad more. Which I thought he would. It's got a nice yeah. Italian flavor to it. Yeah. It's basically Italian dressing. With some pickled onions and fresh tomato and cucumber. These salads would be really good with the barbecue, right? Yeah. Because they're like really light and acidic. So it's a good balance from the heavy, fatty barbecue that you're, we're about to get. But man, I would take some of these biscuits home. These biscuits are mom. Yeah. It's all you care to enjoy. We'll ask for 50 of them before we leave. They're like so buttery.
with the garden the green goddess dressing mm. and they have like queso underneath we have the chicken the brisket the sausage and the ribs we got the pickled fried pickles potato salad and mac and cheese this looks Amazing. Mark went for the fried pickle, I went for the rib. <laughs> Are they good? They're definitely more pickle, less fried. But they're good. There's no doubt you're biting into a pickle. That's for sure. But they are good. These ribs are good. Look, they're like falling off the bone. Got the fried pickle with some spicy barbecue sauce. Mm. Alrighty, y'all. Here's gonna be that salmon. Right. Sit right down there. Thank you. He gave it to me. The ribs are really good. All right, brisket next. The piece I got was a little fatty. I'm gonna leave that for Mark because Mark appreciates the fattiness. I prefer a lean cut. So they're just basically barbecued, like cooked, smoked. There's no sauce on it. So that's when you want to add your sauce. Hey, I'm here with a Canuck for the Luck, the greatest of the Great White North, the most spectacular daredevil Canada has ever seen. It's true. Come on! I don't know, folks. That's a lot of cattle to clear. I do like the sweet barbecue. Make the jump. So here's the sausage. You roll it up. Good. But again, I think other than the ribs, nothing else is sauced. So you definitely have to do your own saucing. Grab a chicken. Chicken always has to be sauced. And I'm gonna use the sweet again. That was good. Ooh, what kind of peppers are those? I don't see a jalapeno. The chicken is so moist. They must do like a rotisserie kind of style. But it is not dry at all. Really good. Birthday. How? What are you eating now? The chicken? Yeah, chicken with the spicy sauce. And it's good. Yeah. Chicken is one of those things that it's just meant to have spicy stuff on it. it is right. what it is. So far, so Very good. good. Very okay. good. Need any reorders of anything? Let me know. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm gonna try this the classic barbecue. I know what you mean. The classic feels a little watered down, mm -hmm. and it's a lot more smoky. So if you like that, then go for the classic. But I prefer a sweet barbecue. I, I mean, think the flavor, the classic, I think it's on point. 
It's yeah. just not thick enough. Yeah, it's really thin. Yeah, the flavor doesn't have to change. It just needs to be a little thicker. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you miss that? Did you, did you just propose now? No. <laughs> <laughs> you try the mac and cheese? Whoa, those are cheesy. <laughs> They're also topped with like goldfish. <laughs> so then you get like that saltiness from them. Holy moly. Yeah. Wow. Cheesy, huh? It just like, <laughs> it smacks you in the mouth. It's like, Taking like a, a fondue and just drinking it straight. <laughs> Try it. Hold on one second. It's good, but man. So the um, that sausage with the sweet. It's good. It's good. Dad went to cheese heaven. Like that's what cheese heaven would feel like. I feel like the pasta itself is made of cheese. <laughs> that's you know true. What I mean? That's how cheese it is. It just feels like cheese, cheese on cheese on cheese. Some of the deep down. Like I said the, the fried pickles is a lot of pickle. The batter is not super thick, but if you're a pickle connoisseur, this is going to be a jam. It really wants you to dip it in something, don't you think? I'm going to do a little barbecue sauce. I thought it was like spicy. It's all right. The barbecue sauce just takes over. Yeah. I'm gonna try some of the green goddess dressing. Just cut through that bite a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The green goddess dressing is ready to go. Salmon is not extra financially, but it is an add on if you'd like. So if you're interested, it's open for anybody. You don't have to be like a non-meat eater to get it. So we said, why not? Let's try it. I was kind of really expecting it to be dry. It's not. Oh, wait till you taste this. Wow. I'm like shocked at how... Salmon's always been a disappointment for us when we go together to somehow with everyone. Mm-hmm. I've been hesitant to uh try it. Come in, Mother Birds. We have a yard sale in the forward territory. I repeat, Holy yard sale in the forward territory. Yard sale? Guys, guys, hold your horses. There's a yard sale. 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 Yard s
with the fatty meat. But it is definitely, you know, simple potato salad. Just a lot of mayo. <laughs> Look at Porky, you see? That's what I meant by Porky, isn't he cute? A little baby. And it's like really small compared to like a regular cup. I thought it was a little bigger than that, but that's okay. And then you got the blueberry cheesecake. Yeah. Yeehaw's on point though, I will say. Yeah, you got a good yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> they're not below the left. The greatest of the great white north. People are spectacular. Yeah. Daredevil Canada has ever seen. It's Duke Cabo. I, I don't know, folks. That's a lot of apple in there. Think he can make the, the jump? Apple pie. <laughs> choice of a dessert it feels weird but honestly this is as much as you can fit <laughs> let me try yours there we go so mark out the cheese the blueberry cheesecake you want to try mine oh yeah his has got like a lemon curd blueberry puree Compote, I should say. And then the cheesecake and then the graham cracker. Pretty good. Right? I like mine more. I like mine more. Cool. I believe it's a chocolate cupcake with some frosting, but there's like stuff like little specks in it. I don't know if it's cinnamon or not. And then a little sugar cookie with a forky on it. Super cute. All right, let's go for it. Yeah. Sugar cookie, frosting. Pretty good. I'm gonna take it out. There's like a chocolate little pudding in it. Do you want to take a bite? No, I can't take it. I'm completely full. It's really good. Just take it out of my hand, though. I don't want to just wash my hands. Take no, ah, just take a bite. Just give me. <laughs> you got the string. <laughs> Very messy, but it's appropriate for kids, I guess. But this chocolate is really good. I don't know what the frosting was, but it was good. Thank you. Come in, Mother Earth. We have a yard sale in the forward territory. I repeat, yard sale in the forward territory. Yard sale. Guys, guys, hold your horses. There's a yard sale. Oh no. Sleep roll call. You get it, Lee. We're really? gonna get taken. Yeah. 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 Alright, the first customer is approaching the driveway. She's placing money in a jar for something. Roll and yellow. It's a it's a lemonade! We've got a lemonade here! A lemonade stand? That's not a yard sale. Ah, and it must be fun for a charity here. Oh, 
Oh, how sweet. Um, so this is the other room. So this is like Woody's area. Rexy's there with Jesse. They got the light, the lamps, the Christmas lights just like outside. There's a milk carton. They're very cool. I think it leads them to their kitchen. Yep, Andy's toys only. And what do we got here? And Rex is right here. Oh, there's Rex right here. Hi guys, so future Stephanie here. We, I realized we were so full and not done with the day that we forgot to talk about the food afterwards. Uh, we did pretty much say how we liked every single thing <laughs> and things that we didn't, but overall, I think it's a great experience. I loved it. It was a lot of fun, all the interactions, Andy's coming, all that stuff. I was, it was just amazing. <laughs> there's just nothing else to it those biscuits me editing the video i was like try not to drill because those biscuits i think were the number one winner there if they could do that at woody's lunchbox and serve like four biscuits like that chef kiss it was so good what else the drinks were great the all of it was good i'm not gonna say it wasn't good every single thing was good there were things that I felt like we could have done without. So many salads, so many side choices. But it's kind of nice to have that many sides and that many choices because everyone's a little different. So you never know. Oh, and Mark is here. Now he can tell you about what he bought. So what were your favorites? Uh, I wasn't too big on a lot of the salads. Though there was that, what was that one that I really liked? The tomato the cucumber. The tomato cucumber. <laughs> it looked simple, but I don't. It was just really good. The other two, eh. uh, as far as the meals go, all the meat was really, really good. Um, even the salmon was pretty good. No, not pretty. It was bomb. Yeah, bomb. It was so fresh, so moist. Yeah, well, not compare, dry at all. You compare it to her cooking, it, it was all right sweet yeah. <laughs> but it was good it was good we should have ordered another piece but yeah. we were so full trying to everything but i think next time i'm definitely gonna order more salmon yeah i would order more salmon less of everything else right yeah because i said the same thing like the salads it's a lot of choices the sides a lot of choices uh the potato salad was okay not my favorite the pickle fried pickles i liked them yeah they were okay a lot um, of pickle though like that they're really Hits you with the pickle flavor. Yeah, not a Very lot of bitter. batter. Um, could benefit for a dipping sauce. The mac and cheese was... Yes. <laughs> so good, yes. but holy cheese. This entire video, all I kept saying was holy moly. <laughs> because it was just like, wow. Like, this is... It. The flavor just, like, punched you. Um, nothing was, um, like, simple. What was the other side that we had? It was the potato salad, the mac and cheese, and... Some greens involved? Mm, oh, the tots. So the tots were good. So like, let's say you didn't want like the fried pickles and you want to pick like a vegetable. The tots are good because it has the, um, the creamy cheese sauce. So if you didn't want mac and cheese, you got that. So it was a good, good balance. Um, the desserts were good a perfect portion even though i wish we would be able to try all the desserts at least you know first time diners i think if you yeah. asked they'd give it to you Probably. i don't think they'd say no because we asked about the forky cupcake which is speci specifically says in the menu for kids and they still gave it to us so <laughs> they were like no problem so yeah i thought the whole experience was really really nice freezing when andy comes uh, there's so much detail on the wall at least try it once it's not something that i'm gonna say like oh i have to go back to that restaurant to eat this i mean i just say the biscuits i would yeah right i wish yeah. i wish they sold those biscuits at woody's lunchbox because honestly i would go back just to eat those <laughs> the biscuits were so good um and maybe like you know like i don't know like 
because it's uh every, like all you care to enjoy there's just so much that i almost wish it wasn't all you care to enjoy yeah and that way you could keep going back because you want to try the other stuff but now that we tried everything it's like you really don't need to go back because we tried yeah. everything but i definitely would like to go back you definitely fill up on the apps too though yeah they bring you out more than you need um which i mean it's understandable for something like that they, they kind of you know control how much food's actually going out the door you're not going to leave hungry that no way you were going to leave waddling and but it's really good food but like ordering more meat it's not possible. No, it's not. It's not possible. I don't know if someone, maybe with a bigger party. Um, I almost wish you'd just skip the, it's part of it though, right? They're going to bring you the, yeah, they're going to bring it to you no matter what. So maybe next time, but, because we already tried and we know what we like, we won't go so hard on the salads. Yeah. Um, And maybe, you know, pick some a different size. Yeah. And then try to go more in into the proteins. Yeah. Um, because the brisket was good. You know, everything you had to season yourself with the sauces aside. Um, so, you know, it's a new adventure every time, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it just seems, feels wasteful, you know. I almost wonder that if I, like, went and said, don't bring me out these salads. Like, I don't want them. Just so that it's not wasted, you yeah. know. Um maybe they would do that i don't see why they wouldn't um so if you see something that you know you're not gonna eat like just maybe tell them in that way it's not so wasteful because that's that's my issue it's like i want to eat all the salads because it's like they gave it to us so we gotta eat it yeah, you know exactly. <laughs> but it doesn't leave much room for anything else <laughs> yeah. so we left and i honestly thought i would want it to go back but i was just so full that i was just like no <laughs> and we did do other stuff go check out that other video um shows everything we did before the dining and then everything we did after so we did ride a ride and stuff like that so we couldn't really take food to go i'm sure you could um if we were leaving like immediately then yes but for it to sit in the heat is not so yeah. great so the salads because it yeah. just you know salad doesn't hold up yeah well. it's a hit to eat i think i would have wanted to take some of the meat that we yeah, left and sure. um like the mac and cheese that we left because mm -hmm. we didn't finish it all so basically the sides yeah. kind of got like wasted but uh we do what we could yeah. <laughs> we could not fill ourselves anymore um but overall i think it was a great experience and a must try if you haven't yet um so yeah back to that past stephanie all right we had a great day at hollywood yeah, studios right very good it was really fun. fun the restaurant was great you should try it we had a toy story land experience uh so I'm very happy i hope you guys liked the video my name is stephanie like and subscribe and thank you for being a part of my world. Nice to see you again.